This is the percussion loop, my favorite percussion loop in the pack. It's just so cool, man. Hey. Welcome to a new video, you guys. I had a really cool little intro thing planned out today. Let me just put this down. I had a really cool video intro thing planned out and then I watched Simon Servita's video and he was using Pandora and I kind of had a little fan moment, so. Um, cool, man. Um, welcome to a new video, you guys. My name is Siki Beats. I'm a producer from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. And in today's video, I'm gonna break down how I made trailer music for my Pandora drum kit. Before we get into that, there is a lot that I wanna tell you guys about how Pandora did. So I'm gonna try and sum it up in the least amount of time. We shattered Hype Edits records. We are the number one downloaded file on their website. Over 3000 people downloaded the free version within 24 hours. Over a hundred copies were sold in just over 24 hours. It shattered every goal that I had set out for myself in under an hour. If that isn't good things, I don't know what is. Thank you guys. People that had never bought a drum kit, this is where they decided to spend their hard earned money. And I do not take that lightly at all, especially especially during a pandemic. We set up a channel on my Discord to showcase the work that you guys have done with Pandora, even free or experience, it does not matter. And I wanna thank a few people who are a part of helping me make this the best kit that I've ever put out. Simon Servita, Chris Puncelon, Cheddar Meister, Matty Beats, Garlic Bread, B Dilla, Jules, thank you guys. None of this would happen if it wasn't for these guys upholding me to the highest standard. And as a final closing note, not only did you guys help me increase the quality of the videos by going from 1080p to 4K with this new computer, the camera equipment, by the way, the video for that is linked up here. The most significant thing I think we accomplished this year was the fact that we had a charity beat review and all the money from that was donated to the Black Lives Matter movement earlier this year. I wanna, no, I'm going to use this platform to make a difference within the producer community. And I'm really glad that I have a bunch of cool dudes like yourself who are supporting this channel and this movement. <laughs> that all out of the way, let me show you how I made the trailer for the Pandora experience. So this is how I'm gonna break down this trailer. There's going to be five parts, the intro, the buildup, the first drop, the second drop, and Cheddar Meister's arrangement towards the end. So we got the trailer in front of us. I like starting my trailers out by putting the listener in a space, in an environment. So the way we did that here was with some Foley sounds, some thunder noises, and some really, really tense bass lines from a plugin called Pigment by Arturia. So this is that sound right here. And because bending the pitch of certain sounds can create a tension, I did that here as well. Very cool. Once I had that bass part, I ran it through a bunch of random plugins, Fruity Delay, Crystallizer, Fruity Parametric EQ, Wow Control, Portal, Fruity Reverb, and Edison. I think this is a sound here actually. Yeah, that's a sound. And altogether, this is what that sounds like. And lastly, to transition into the next section, we added two sounds, which actually happened to be some of the last few sounds that I added to the Pandora pack before releasing, which is why they're not named here properly, but this reverse sine wave and this transition sound effects. Good things. So let's talk about the buildup. The next part that we have is an arpeggiator. Now this arpeggiator came again from the Arturia Pigments plugin and this is what it sounds like. A big thing with me is try to make the arrangement interesting. Just because I have an element that sounds cool doesn't mean that it needs to run throughout the whole beat. The next sound we have is a one shot from the one shot folder and is a signature when it comes to cinematic sounds, pulsating bass line. This is what that sounds like and the plugin chain that it went through. Not a very crazy, interesting sound by itself, but it's about layers and depth, and that's what we're trying to achieve with cinematic music. Moving on to the rhythmic part of this section, we have a tom rhythmic loop. 
last thing I added was the Heaviosity Evolve Rhythmic Instrument from Contact. This is what that sounds like. And finally, some vocals, again, to add a little more tension to this. Just, it's just so cool, dude. Two more things about this section. We added this sine wave pluck. Again, signature sounds in cinematic trailers. And lastly, you might have noticed that this section of that beat actually started to speed up, which is something that I don't do often. In fact, I don't think I've ever done it before. So this is how I achieve that. You right click on your tempo and you click create automation. This beat actually goes from 110 BPM to 130 BPM at the drop. And the rhythmic elements actually follow. In order to do that, I opened up the Tom rhythm that I had. I set it to stretch mode. Obviously it's already synced to the tempo and it'll follow the tempo as it changes throughout the song. The last thing in this section is the sound effects that we use to build up and transition into the first drop. What we used was the riser right here. This ear candy riser, which is super special, probably like the coolest sound effect. Kinda has that bomb ready to explode feeling. And this reverse vocal effect. This is how this transition sounds all together. Yeah, you didn't think I'd go right to that next section right away, did you? All right, let's talk about the first drop. With every trailer, it's not about showing you how to make a generic trap beat. It's about showing you that you can make some weird, different stuff. In my opinion, Kanye West's Yeezus album was a pretty experimental album. It's one that I'm super inspired by a lot, which is why I tried to add elements of that in this section with the 808. We ended up using the 808 called short number 12, and this is what that sounds like. simple. It's all about the depth and the layers that you add. And it's actually the sound that I did the least amount of processing. Just an EQ with a little boost around 2K, a little cut around 60 Hertz, and a little dip around 111. Not a lot. I think they're just good sounds to begin with. And lastly, what I think is probably the most underrated part of this section was the way that I utilized noise and automation to create a syncopated rhythm with the 808. And this is what I mean by that. That I think itself was another unique element that we added. And all we really did was add a sound in and dip out the volume whenever that kick came in so that there was a movement and a bounce between the two elements. And because it's something that's not often done with noise and syncopating between 808s, I think that's what kind of made it a cool sound. And the last thing about this section is we created pockets and spaces to showcase some other accent effects. And one of those was this one right here. I think those elements are what make that or what hype up a beat. You'll also notice that I cut out sections completely so that I can really let those elements shine in those moments. And the last thing with this drop was the drum fill and the transition into the second drop. All we did was pull up this clap sound, more of a noisy sound, and we just stuttered. And the last thing with this section was the drum fill that we used to transition into the second drop. We have the Rembrandt drum fill layered on top with this clap. And this is the drum fill. And all together, this is what that drum fill sounds like which leads us to the second drop. This is probably my favorite part of the whole beat because of the rhythm of everything. If you can't remember what it sounded like, here it is one more time. This is what we did in drop number two. We have our 808 pattern continuing to play underneath like this. Because it's a new section, I wanted to add in a little bit more impact to hit in the chest. So we added in this kick right here, punchy number one, just pitched it down a little bit, turned up the out knob, not being EQ'd, not being processed, but taking it out, you can just barely notice it. 
just a little additional tiny little thing now the claps i think this is what gives it that futuristic sound it's essentially big clap number two noisy clap and because i wanted it to cut off right away i use the audio version and have it just immediately cut off after half a beat you can see it cuts off at the half beat mark and i also layered that with a second one to kind of create a little bit of that delayed clap sound kind of like that kind of a sound. So this is what that sounds like. And we added this glitchy clap towards the end, reverse. And then the fill, which you just heard. Then we added a few percussion elements. So some zappy sounds, a hi-hat loop, another hi-hat loop, and then, in my opinion, the sound that kind of really gets you thinking about the Black Panther of Wakanda and all that stuff, this is the percussion loop, my favorite percussion loop in the pack. It's just so cool, man. And of course, we have the vocal continuing to play here as well. And that's basically drop number two. Now I want to pass it off to Cheta to show you guys how we finish the outro for this trailer music. Cheta, show them what you got. Thank you for the introduction, Siki. What's good, everybody? I'm Cheta Meister, and I'm going to be walking through my portion of the Pandora demo. A few weeks ago, me and Siki was talking, and he was telling me about how he was finishing up his biggest kit to date, Pandora. Now, he makes some fire kits, so I had to ask him if I could jump on the demo, and he accepted. <laughs> He sent the kit over, I downloaded it, unzipped it, and got straight in. So let's see how I use the sounds from Pandora. First, let's listen to the ending of the demo, and then I'll walk you through everything. All right, cool. So let's start off with this. This is basically the same loop that's in the previous uh, portion of the demo. I just put a little EQ on it to take out all the high end and a compressor to tame some of the frequencies. So that's the same as this. I took this one shot called Keys 08 and it sounds like this. Let me take off all the processing first so I can show you how I got it to sound the way it sounds. I'll put a little portal. It's really important to, you know, do your own processing on one shots because everyone's going to have these one shots if they have the kit. So you want to stand out amongst the crowd. So do a little processing, you know, put some lo fi on it, some uh, saturation. That's with thermal. Soothe so I can uh, further tame some of the frequencies that were peaking a little bit. Volf compressor to give it some lo-fi vibes. So you get flutter, some compression. See to even make it sound more messed up. But with all the elements together, it sounds pretty dope. So we got this other one shot that I use called Keys 10A. EQ'd it a little bit, Valhalla Vintage Verb. It really gives it that cinematic vibe. And then some Volve Compressor to lo-fi it out. Let's hear that with the main loop. Bring that other one shot back. See how important it is to like add your own touch to it? Without the effects, it sounds like this. But Siki gave you a good starting point for a sound. It's up to you where you take it. Next, some vocals to give it some like organic vibes. 
took that, put fade on it, reversed it. Then I played it again with plus two transpose. A little bit of saturation with, without it, it sounds like this. All the sounds are great in the pack, but they may not fit together with the track that you're creating. So you gotta make sure you process them accordingly, you know? And then we added another vocal right here. Put a little fade on it so it doesn't start abruptly. Then I chopped it up and put the second part of the vocal right there. Now else in the track is atmosphere and percussion. And let me go through those real quick. Added some rain. Really good. Put LFO tool on it to give it some motion. Get the percussion in there. couple chops in there to make it you know more sporadic and that part I slowed it down times two so in Ableton all you have to do is like select the region separate it with control or command E and you can just do this and then we have some of these toms let's also add this impact to give it that cinematic trailer vibe Percussion. This is one of the live hat loops from the pack. Then we finished it off with a fill. So, overall, the kit's really dope. Uh, I hope I did justice to it, and I hope you guys like it. It's fire, so pick it up and have a blast with it because I sure did. And uh, thanks again, Siki. Peace. Awesome, thanks Shetta. So now you guys have basically seen how this trailer music was put together. If you guys thought it was kind of cool or mildly interesting, or if you learned something, if anything, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, go check out Chetta's YouTube channel. It'll be linked in the description for you guys. There are only a few more copies of Pandora Experience available right now, and the free version will always be there for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in 2021.